British summer time if you have not already adjusted your clocks and watches. So wherever you are in the world, whatever time zone you're logging on from, here in London it's early afternoon and the Buddhist Society and myself wish you a very warm welcome and thank you for joining this online meditation class. The last few weeks, indeed the last month or so, we've been dedicating our meditations to peace and I hope you'll all join me today in dedicating this meditation to peace, peace especially thinking of the Ukraine. Often we feel very helpless um, in the face of the news that we're receiving. But one thing we can do is create peace in ourselves. As the Dalai Lama, His Holiness, has said, if you want peace, be peaceful. And with that in mind, I, let's uh, hold that in our hearts as we engage in our meditation this afternoon. So I'll begin in my usual way by settling ourselves by re whilst reading the dedication of offerings. To the Blessed One, the Lord who fully attained perfect enlightenment, to the teaching which he expounded so well, and to the Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well, to these, the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, we render with offerings our rightful homage. It is well for us that the Blessed One, having attained liberation, still had compassion for later generations. May these simple offerings be accepted for our long-lasting benefit and for the happiness it gives us. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and Blessed One, I render homage to the Buddha, the Blessed One. The teaching so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dharma. The Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha. Recollection of the Buddha. A good word of the Blessed One's reputation has spread as follows. He, the Blessed One, is indeed the pure one, the perfectly enlightened one. He is impeccable in conduct and understanding, the accomplished one, the knower of the worlds. He trains perfectly those who wish to be trained. He is teacher of gods and humans. He is awake and holy. The supreme praise of the Buddha. The Buddha, the truly worthy one, endowed with such excellent qualities, whose being is composed of purity, transcendental wisdom and compassion, who has enlightened the wise like the sun awakening the lotus, I bow my head to that peaceful chief of conquerors, the Buddha, who is the safe, secure refuge of all beings. As the first object of recollection, I venerate him with bowed head. I am indeed the Buddha's servant. The Buddha is my Lord and guide. The Buddha is sorrow's destroyer who bestows blessings on me. To the Buddha I dedicate this body and life. And in devotion, I will walk the Buddha's path of awakening. For me, there is no other refuge. The Buddha is my excellent refuge. By the utterance of this truth, may I grow in the master's way. By my devotion to the Buddha and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. Recollection of the Dharma. The Dharma is well expounded by the Blessed One, apparent here and now, timeless, encouraging investigation, leading inwards to be experienced individually by the wise. The supreme praise of the Dharma. 
it is excellent because it is well expounded and it can be divided into path and fruit, practice and liberation. The Dharma holds those who uphold it from falling into delusion. I revere the excellent teaching, that which removes darkness. The Dharma, which is the supreme secure refuge of all beings, as the second object of recollection, I venerate it with bowed head. I am indeed the Dharma's servant. The Dharma is my Lord and guide. The Dharma is sorrow's destroyer and it bestows blessings on me. To the Dharma, I dedicate this body and life and in devotion, I will walk this excellent way of truth. For me, there is no other refuge. The Dharma is my excellent refuge. By the utterance of this truth, may I grow in the Master's way. By my devotion to the Dharma and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. Recollection of the Sangha. They are the Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well, who have practiced directly, who have practiced insightfully, those who practice with integrity, that is, the four pairs, the eight kinds of noble beings, these are the Blessed One's disciples. Such ones are worthy of gifts, worthy of hospitality, worthy of offerings, worthy of respect. They give occasion for incomparable goodness to arise in the world. The Supreme Praise of the Sangha Born of the Dharma, that Sangha which has practiced well, the field of the Sangha formed of eight kinds of noble beings, guided in body and mind by excellent morality and virtue. I revere that assembly of noble beings perfected in purity. The Sangha which is the supreme secure refuge all beings. As the third object of recollection, I venerate it with bowed head. I am indeed the Sangha's servant. The Sangha is my Lord and guide. The Sangha is sorrow's destroyer, and it bestows blessings on me. To the Sangha I dedicate this body and life, and in devotion I will walk the well-practiced way of the Sangha. For me, there is no other refuge. The Sangha is my excellent refuge. By the utterance of this truth, may I grow in the Master's way. By my devotion to the Sangha and the blessings of this practice, by its power, may all obstacles be overcome. So I invite you now just to come to a comfortable position and join with me and the rest of this online Sangha in sitting in meditation with peace in our hearts for around 25 to 30 minutes.
So please feel free to stretch and move. And just to give you some notices from the Buddhist Society, uh, this evening at 6.30 there is the Theravada class and the Zen class. On Thursday at 12.30 there's the Sanskrit class and then in the evening there's the Tibetan class and the basic meditation class and this week it will be taken by Ajahn Sivado. Um, so those are both at 6.30 and if you're new to meditation this is a basic meditation class, an introduction to meditation. So that's Thursday at 6.30. Friday lunchtime at this time there is also meditation and I believe this week is the last week of term so um, we reconvene on uh, Monday the 25th of April. The Buddhist Society does open on the 19th of April but this the 25th will be the, the next Monday uh, for this lunchtime session. So thank you all very much for joining this online Sangha. I'm going to close today by reading the Buddha's words on loving kindness and then the closing homage. This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove. Wishing in gladness and in safety, may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be at ease. Let none deceive another, or despise any being in any state. Let none, through anger or ill will, wish harm upon another. Even as a mother protects with her life her child, her only child, so with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded, freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding. By not holding to false views, the pure hearted one, having clarity of vision, being freed from all sense desires, is not born again into this world. The closing homage. The Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one, I render homage to the Buddha, the blessed one. The teaching, so completely explained by him, I bow to the Dharma. The blessed one's disciples who have practiced well, I bow to the Sangha.
So thank you all very much for joining this online Sangha. I wish you well and uh, see you again, uh, hopefully, on the 25th of April. Be well. <laughs>